Welcome to the presentation on wrist taping. Wrist taping can be done for sprains, strains, or to provide support for past injuries. So the wrist is made up of eight little bones, and those meet up with the long bones that make up the palm that lead to the fingers, as well as the two bones of the forearm. Now one thing that's really important with wrist taping is to make sure that the person has been medically cleared to play um, as long as it's been taped. Now the wrist should be in neutral when we tape it and that means it's not bent forwards or backwards, tilted to the thumb side or to the pinky side. And you want to find out what action causes pain. Generally, it will be that the pain is on the opposite side as the movement. So if they're bending the hand backwards, they'll have pain in through the front of the wrist. And when we do the tape job, the important um, features are the fan, and that's going to go with the X on the point of pain, just like with our figure eights. So we're going to start with Pro Wrap, and we do want the Pro Wrap to start up on the hand with the thumb, like we did with thumb taping. So poking a hole through and wrapping it around the hand, as well as down onto the forearm. And then we're going to do anchors. Now to do the anchors on the wrist, it is easiest to have the person turn their hand so the palm is facing down. You want to start right at the wrist joint, and you want to wrap around to the palm side, back up and rip overlapping by half, again down around onto the palm side, up and rip, and the last one down around onto the palm side, up and rip. Okay. Doesn't matter which direction they go, it just matters that you have three. When it comes to an anchor on the hand, there's two different ways to do this. You can start at the common point at the end of the pinky there, up through the web of the hand and back and rip, just like we did with the thumb. Or you can do it the continuous way like we did at the thumb, where you go up through the web, back around, and then wrap that around the thumb into the back of the hand. Either one will work fine, but we do need to have an anchor on the palm. Now the fan is the um, most effective strips that we use to help with restricting movement at the wrist. What you want to do again, decide which movement causes pain and where that pain is. To make your X, you're going to actually make it on the table beside the person. You want at least three strips that are six inches long. First, you're going to create an X and then one strip in the middle. You want to peel that off. You want to apply the X at the wrist joint on the side that has the pain. So here we're taping as if moving the wrist back causes pain on the front of the wrist. So the X is here. Put it there put both sides out and stick them down. Now you'll see this when we do the video. At this point, what you're going to want to do is hold the tape here and here on the wrist and try and get the patient to move their hand back into that painful position. If it's still painful, you're going to need to tighten this up. So just unstick one side, pull it further down and stick it further to make sure that you're actually creating this tape job and so you're restricting the painful movement. Again, we're going to cover any holes and then retape the hand and wrist anchors. So we have those three anchors on the wrist here and the one anchor on the hand. Whether you did that coming just through the web and back and rip here or just through the web around the thumb and back, either one is fine. Now I'm going to walk you through this process with the video. So the person has their elbow resting on a table. Okay, we start with the pro wrap, down through the thumb, and then around the palm, and down onto the forearm. Pro wrap is for comfort, really, so you can use as much or as little as the patient likes. It's easiest to gain to have them put their palm down in order to tape your anchors on the wrist, and it doesn't matter direction. All you have to do is start right at the wrist joint, and you're doing three separate anchors. They can't just go continuously around so that you're wrapping around and around and around. So three anchors overlap by half. We're going to move the hand back into that sideways position. Start down at the base of the pinky, up through the web. And this anchor is going to go all the way around and back to the back of the hand. Just moves the ends of tape away from the palm, which can get quite sweaty. 
Now we're going to work into moving that fan. So we have three strips of tape. First we make an X. And then we have the strip through the middle. We're going to pick that up. X right at the wrist joint at the side of pain. Put it on. And here you can see they're going to hold that tape and make sure that you can't move the wrist into pain. If they could, they'd simply pull up one side of that and make it uh, tighter. Anchors back on to make sure that everything's staying exactly where you've placed it. Make sure it's still restricting that movement. And then your hand anchor. So this one is again starting from the base of the pinky, through the web, around the wrist and the thumb, and back up to the uh, back side of the hand. And then because it's hard to know how long your fan should be, you can always just take some scissors, cut that extra bit off, okay? And again, make sure that you're restricting that movement. So like I said, we're not going to tape the anchors continuously so they don't go around and around. You need to rip after each one, and that's so that we don't create problems with circulation. When we wrap around and around and around with white tape, it's easy to create problems with circulation. Throughout this tape job, you want to make sure that their fingers are not turning purple, so you still have good circulation to the hand. If you do notice that, you need to have your tape be not as tight on the skin. You can increase the restriction by taping more strips in the fan or by taping more anchor strips and take those further into the hand. So we started our first anchor right at the wrist joint, but you could easily move that up and have it be in the hand, which is going to restrict their wrist movement more. Again, as always, we ensure tape is removed after play and practice. Next, we're going to move on to elbow wrapping and taping and shoulder taping. For more information on healthy living or to see my other courses, please check out thehealingpath.com.